been a camper like tent camping but a couple of years ago I started camping in a station wagon which you did a video of I kind of wanted a little bit more space I did a lot of research and found this there's some Mercedes Benz Metris it was just all just metal it's really no build it's like a self build no build before I even get out of the van I do have my little pot here coffee comes first that's electric yes. <laughs> I do have a small electric skillet instant pot and I also have an air fryer yeah. I love cooking I get in no problem right so I have lots of sitting areas uh, this is uh, one of my favorite I'll chop my vegetables I'll do small electrical cooking here here I you know do my dishes this is a stool that I made it's a potty inside I did this with pocket holes. Anybody that would like to get into woodwork should look up a few YouTubes on pocket holes. It's a very simple system and it, it can, almost anybody can build anything with that. It's pocket holes. Pocket holes. And I also did this. I made it to fit with my uh, portable potty. And then I can stick like toilet paper and some bags and different things mm -hmm. in the corners. I mean, maybe in a couple of years, I'll actually like really do a build. Maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with this. It works beautifully. It's very simple and I'm glad I kind of went with some big wheels. At first I was thinking of the smaller ones. Here are the same as these. I have seven of them. It sounds excessive, but oh my God, I love them. They open this, my clothes and cube packing cubes here's just miscellaneous stuff mm -hmm. and then here I've got my electronics jackery and a few extra items I have my food here and my plates and silverware and cups all in this part I did uh, put this myself I took the piece of plywood you know varnish and did it mm -hmm. and fit it in here perfect so that I could use it as an actual table but this makes it much more usable with the stool I'm able to move around I scoot around and I can reach everything super easy I can you know just if I do my dishes on like this if I need to you know get my things I, I never have to stoop except for sometimes to get a few items up here. The only time I ever have to uh, slouch here. Otherwise, I do everything with my stool. I had two spigots. This is drinking, this is washing, and the reason I do it is I have buckets here. And, and this, by the way, is a big tray. It almost, it's like a little extra storage so I don't waste all the space over my, my water. So the, that's one water. This is my gray water mm -hmm. and that's my drinking water. So I'll go into Walmart and I'll just take these and, um, and fill them. But for the cleaning one, it doesn't matter. So if I'm on a campsite or if I'm just on the side of a convenience store where sometimes they have water you can use, I could just fill it up from anywhere and I don't care what it tastes like. I built this uh, little wooden piece that fits snug and perfect. So now I could drive all day, <laughs> they, they never tip over. I got this from a little container store. I thought it was so cute. I was so excited when I thought about this unbreakable mirrors and I'm like oh I could use that for the van but they're good enough to brush hair yeah. you know brush my teeth and they're not glass they are they're not, not glass breakable. and they're not breakable it makes it look bigger in here yes, it really like it just opens it up it. Right? and lighter too the baskets they're not only useful this becomes like oil salt pepper and my coffee which is super important I can dangle spices I dangle my vinegar water everything right here and then that's got some different kind of things but they're not just for your even usability I didn't want just pure metal walls and I wasn't looking to do a big you know uh, fix and insulation and walls this is just a piece of plywood and all I did was take peel and stick wallpaper and put it on there leaned it against the wall and the baskets actually hold it wow. so nothing I didn't have to drill any holes 
these stay up with magnets. This is um, bamboo I got from Amazon, and it's like almost a thread. It's almost like a material in the back. Mm. I was able to cut out the wheel well section and just lean it up against here. <laughs> and again, the furniture just holds it up from Amazon. I can give you the link for it. Okay. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't have it touched up. I mean, obviously, I could do it way better. I've spent more energy in doing soundproofing. Like this is a lot of soundproofing stuff and I do have that all behind these walls. My bed, I actually made this myself. It's just raw plywood. What I did was I've got the wheel wells. I had, after putting kill mat for the soundproofing on them, I built very basic rough boxes around my wheel wells on both sides. Then I took uh, a big piece of plywood and just stuck it in between and because everything is tight everything stays in place this is one of the best anything that I and I got from Amazon. favorite things it is so fantastic it just goes right there on the hook of that and it will hold you jackets bags I have one that is on the swivel seat behind you and mm -hmm. it's got so much weight I just shock myself like how it just it will hold any amount of weight it's beyond belief this is another solar panel this is a hundred and that's a hundred I have on the dashboard okay let me get a shot of it and it doesn't get great with the dashboard but what's nice is I can get it at any time I don't have to worry I could be in a Walmart parking lot yeah and I can get my solar um, that way yeah 200 outside 100 here and, and 100, 100 in the here. window right, okay so. so you've got 400 I got one that's a 1,000 here Jackery 1,000 1,000 this is it's 25 quart very quiet Mm -hmm. and also it doesn't um, use much power and it fits that. under your bed yeah That's I nice. built the bed to be exactly <laughs> where I could fit it so you mostly cook with um, the one burner regular camping stove electric skillet you can fry an egg, you can fry a steak, or you can boil eggs, or you, you know, it's just like pretty versatile. 600. 600 watts, that's very good. You works. could do pretty much everything in there. This is kind of um, extra storage. I always like to have a tarp. Oh, that's my air fryer. Air fryer. <laughs> Here's some extra water to switch out from those jugs. Right. That's my stove. And that's my jackery and all the cords. That's the 2000. That's the 2000, yep. Yeah, that's a heavy and duty. Here, I'll turn this on. You see? Link below to the station wagon video because she had a lot in that. And yeah, you that can went see where she came of... from to where she is now. That's great. <laughs> Details on the cooking, too. That butterfly sticker is from my first group. Camping with you. Yeah, that's where we did your first <laughs> you band handed tour. that to me. I was like, oh my god, I felt so special. <laughs> oh, you are it's special. Like, Yay, I got the butterfly track oh. sticker. So even with a hat on, you got plenty of head space <laughs> yep. that you can sit straight up in your bed. And sit straight up this way. And then sometimes people are like, can you really sleep like sideways? And, and, and they think I'm just exaggerating. But let me show you. So I'm, I'm only 5'2". That helps. And so that's my head at the end. And look how much space I got. It's my favorite place to sit. I generally have my iPad, my phone. I have my drink. Um, I you know, want to have my coffee. It's, it's like a little table. It, it's just, it's so perfect. Just in a few days, I'll be 62 years old. I'm free. My kids are grown. I'm now not working. I want to go see the world and I don't want to be dependent on somebody and it's wonderful meeting with people and doing it but I think it's really important a person feels like they can just go off and have a wonderful experience like just enjoy life when you become older and you are free from work and children you just really want to go see the the world and you want to experience things for you 
And, you know, when I do, I love being in these groups. But, you know, I also really love it when I'm by myself mm -hmm. and I get to choose exactly where I want to go, how far I want to walk, when do I want to take a nap, where do I want to go. It's very empowering. And you know, sometimes when I'm way out somewhere just experiencing beautiful nature and things, I think about that I'm standing there, I'm the only one there, and I think this moment, this place, at this time, it's just for me. <laughs> like, I get to enjoy it. This is nature, and it's all out there for free just to, to just go and experience it. Yeah. All the good times just begun.